Hello everyone, this is Anson from AnsonAlex.com and in this video I'm going to provide an overview tutorial for using Google Chrome and I'm going to show you where all of Google Chrome's primary features are located. I'm doing this using the 2017 Google Chrome interface for Mac OS. However, all of the features I show should be the same on Windows. Just some of the icons might look a little different and things might be moved into slightly different places. But in terms of what we can do with Google Chrome, it should be the same. So once you have Google Chrome installed on your computer and you open it up, you're going to be brought to a page that looks like this. And this is the new tab page. Basically, I'm going to show you later on in the video where we can specify what we want this page to show. But by default, it just shows uh, a Google search box where we could search Google. And then it shows pages down at the bottom uh, that you may have recently visited. And at any time, you can X out these pages if there's something on there that you uh, don't want to see on your new tab page and something else will replace it. So uh, to get started with this tutorial, let's first talk about the user interface of Google Chrome and where all of the features are located. It's got a really simple interface, uh, which is really nice. It makes browsing the web uh, a, a real nice, clean experience. So if we look up here at the top, we have these two buttons. Uh, we obviously have the back button and the forward button. So let's go to a website because you'll notice that we have our address bar right up here in the top middle of Google Chrome. So we'll just go to AnsonAlex.com. Uh, go to my website and we'll load that up. You'll notice that I could now hit the back button. I haven't gone back from a page, so I can't hit the forward button, but I could also hit refresh. Uh, and of course, uh, you can see the website that you're currently visiting up here in the address bar. If we move over to the right side of the screen, you'll notice that there's a little star icon. And this is how we can quickly bookmark web pages. So if I click on the star, you'll notice that a little window appears where I can enter the details about this bookmark. So I could call it whatever I'd like to call it. And then I can choose where I'd like to put this bookmark. I'm going to show you in a few minutes where we can manage our bookmarks and how you can create folders to store bookmarks in. And I'm also going to show you how you can get a bookmarks bar up here underneath the address bar in your browser. So once we display that bookmarks bar, if I were to add this bookmark to the bookmarks bar, it would be easily accessible up here underneath the address bar. So uh, let's add it to the bookmarks bar for now and click done. Uh, we'll see that pop up here in a couple minutes when we enable that setting. Next, I want you to notice uh, this button over here to the right side of Chrome that has three little dots. This is kind of like your more options button. And you'll notice that when we click on it, a number of different options are displayed for us. So we could open an incognito window from here. So that's a window where our search history, our browsing history won't be saved. It's also a good way to uh, log into, say, a second Gmail account while you're logged into one Gmail account uh, in your normal browser. You can have them both open at the same time in different windows. We can look at our history. We can open up our downloads folder. And then you'll notice we also have this bookmarks area where we have more options for managing bookmarks. So from here, I could go to the bookmark manager option and it will open up a new tab up here at the top of my screen. And you'll notice that now I can view all of my bookmarks. So I could uh, right click in my bookmarks bar folder and I could create a new folder. So we'll just call this cool websites. So I will actually have a folder show up in my bookmarks bar once I enable that feature now. And you can also create folders in other bookmarks. They're not going to show up in the bar, but they will be accessible by going to the, over here to the right side of your screen and going to bookmarks. You'll see all the folders down here. Some more options over here. Uh, we have the more tools menu. There's just a couple things in here. First of all, we can clear any of our browsing data from here. So we could clear our history, our cache, our cookies, all that sort of stuff. We could also browse Google Chrome extensions. So like most browsers nowadays, there are extensions that are developed for Google Chrome that add functionality uh, to either any website you look at or just certain websites. I'm sure you're familiar with uh, what some of those extensions may do. So if you want to browse the ones available for Google Chrome, you can click on that link. Uh, and then down here towards the bottom of this menu, we have the settings option, which I'm going to go into in just a minute. But before I do that, I do want to talk about tabs here in Google Chrome real quick. You'll notice right now I have two tabs open. And let's just go to a website in this second tab. So let's go to Google.com. So we actually have two real websites open. Uh, working with tabs in Google Chrome is really smooth. So I can flip the order of these tabs just by clicking and dragging one to the other side of the other. I can also drag it out into a new window. And then I can drag it back into the same window. And of course, to close a tab, I can just click on the X next to the tab. And to open a new tab, I can click on this little space right here to the right of my currently open tabs to open up a brand new tab. So that's how you can work with tabs in Google Chrome. Now let's go into our settings. So I'm going to go back over here to the right, 
click on the three dots and go into settings. I'm going to go through a few of the more important settings that I think you may want to modify when you first start using Google Chrome. So first of all, you can sync a Google account with Google Chrome, which would make it so that when you go to a Google service like Gmail or Google Drive, you're automatically logged into your account and you don't have to log in every time. So that's a nice feature if you use a lot of the Google apps. In the On Startup section, we can configure what we would like to see on that new tab page. I told you we could change it. So by default, it's set to open the new tab page. But we could also change it to continue where we left off in our last session, which is a pretty popular option for a lot of people. Or we could have it open a specific set of pages. So I could just click Set Pages, and I could enter the URL of a page that I'd like to see when I first open up Google Chrome. So we can open up my website. There we go. Down here in Appearance, we have an option where we can show a Home button. So now you'll notice that there's a little house symbol up here next to the Refresh button, and that will always take us to our home page. And we can also always show the Bookmarks bar. So you'll notice when I click in that option, I now have the Bookmarks bar, and I have the Bookmark in the Bookmark folder that I added earlier. If you like to add themes to your browsers, you can click on the Get Themes button to do that. We could change our default search engine. I don't know why you'd want to do that, especially if you're using Google Chrome. Uh, so we'll leave that as Google for now. We can add people to our browser. What this means is uh, I can have one computer account with a Google Chrome browser, but I can add multiple people to that browser that might have different bookmarks, that might have different saved passwords, all of that sort of thing. So it's great for computers that are shared computers that multiple people are going to be using. Towards the bottom of the screen, we can click on the link that says Show Advanced Settings for some more options. So first of all, we could clear our browsing data again from in this area, although like I said earlier, we can just go up to the right of our screen, go to More Tools, and do that from here as well. We could also configure our content settings, so the type of things that we're seeing when we visit web pages. If you're not experienced with making those type of changes, I would just leave that as default for now. And I would probably leave most of these options as default down here as well. But you can take a look through them on your own if you'd like. If we scroll down a little further, we have the Passwords and Forms section. This is where we can manage our saved passwords. So I could click on the Manage Passwords link. I could view all of the websites that I have passwords saved for. I could view those usernames and passwords if I'd like, and I can also change those usernames and passwords as well. When you first go to a website in Google Chrome and you log in with a username and password, Google Chrome will ask you if you want to save that password. So you don't have to go in and add all of your saved passwords uh, when you first start using Google Chrome. You can just let Chrome accumulate them as you use the browser. Scrolling down a little further, uh, there isn't too much down here at the bottom. We have this reset settings option. So if you mess with a lot of these settings and you find that your browsing experience isn't as good as it used to be, you can just reset your settings uh, so it goes back to default. So that pretty much wraps it up for all of the primary features here in Google Chrome. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. And if you want to see more technology tips and tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That's all I have for you for today. This is Anson from AnsonAlex.com.